You know, there was many players that benefited from the WHA showing up, and uh, this player was one of them. May not be a household uh, name to people across uh, Canada, but for those in the Cambridge Waterloo region of uh, Ontario, he has so much respect. He was inducted into their Sports Hall of Fame a few years back. So we're going to talk about the pride of Hespeler, Ontario, uh, the great Russ Gillow. Now 5'10", 165. He first came to major prominence in the CAHL in 1960 for the great Edmonton Oil Kings. In 61, he split time with the WHL's Edmonton Flyers and the Milwaukee Falcons of the IHL, as well as the Lacombe Rockets of the CAHL. Now, uh, 62, he found himself back with Edmonton and also the Lacombe Rockets, 63 with the Edmonton Flyers, Lacombe again, and also the LA Blades of the WHL. And I want you to remember this because it'll, it'll come in the focus very soon. 64, he found himself with Knoxville Knights of the EHL. 67 was a big dra- breakthrough year. Played 71 total games with the Des Moines Oak Leaves of, uh, of the IHL and seven uh, playoff games, so 78 games total. He was a workhorse in many, many leagues. Uh, in 68 and 69 in the CPHL and then involved in the CHL, he played with Oklahoma City, put up 92 uh, games in the regular season with a stellar uh, average under three for both years and 17 games combined in the two playoffs. Now, 1970, he found himself back in the WHL with the Salt Lake Golden Eagles and uh, also with the Seattle Totems, both WHL franchise. Now, 71, he played for the Drumheller Miners of the ASHL Calgary Stampeders, again, of the ASHL, and the Seattle Totems of the WHL. Now, Spokane uh, Jets came calling in 72 to WIHL. He played 29 games. So a lot of people were saying, you know, WHA is opening up. Is he finally going to get a chance? And as a 30, uh, 30 plus old rookie, he did it. He finished second in goals against average on the 73 season as kind of the LA Sharks uh, shared number, uh, number two goalie, or number one goalie, excuse me. 38 games that year, he won 17, 13, and 2 with a stellar 2.88 average. Now, 74, he was still with LA, mostly as a backup. Played 18 contests with a 4 and 13 record. Now, he found himself also with Greensboro that year of the SHL and the Syracuse Blazers of the NAHL. Now, 75, he had spent some time with Syracuse, but he found himself back in the WHA, this time with the Spokane, the, excuse me, the San Diego Mariners. 75, he had a 15-11-2 record and a strong 3.41 average. And uh, 76 again with the Mariners with uh, 23 games or with a unfortunate record of 1-10-2. and two. Uh, San Diego had a tough uh, season that year, so not really his fault. And he wrapped up <coughs> his career with uh, a short stint with the Spokane Chiefs in 1983. Now, according to the Cambridge uh, Sports Hall of Fame uh, page on Russ, uh, he, he was basically a role model for a lot of people, not only because of his time with uh, the Edmonton Oil Kings. Uh, he had played St. Catherine's TPs in 1960 for the Memorial Cup. Now, uh, they did make it all the way uh, to the finals, but unfortunately, uh, uh, Gillo, uh, that uh, uh, injury he had in the playoffs against St. Catherine's in the final, caused him not to start next two games. And... Uh, uh, the TPs, because they were a very uh, loaded team, including Roger Crozier, Chico Mackey, Vic Atfield, and Ray Cullen, eventually won in six games. Now, uh, Gillo had a great uh, playoff that year, but that's where the legend began. Now, because the WHA was the first competitive league since the Western Hockey League in 1926, his connections were are very, uh, are very strong. Now, uh, Playing for 17 different teams during his career, uh, including all the junior squads, made him probably one of the most recognized and one of the most dependable goalies of his era. And the thing is, how the WHA work, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting the players that played in the minor pro for almost a decade. But it was, it was um, you know, associations like Major League WHA that finally uh, spent enough time to look inside these players and give it enough recognition. And somebody somebody criticized the WHA once, saying it's all a bunch of has-beens, uh, former NHL superstars, and minor league players. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. you got to get your players someplace. But you look at the college players that played the WHA. 
players like Russ who are hometown heroes. There were a ton of hometown heroes. So my WHA podcasts are a tribute to players like Russ who went above and beyond and unfortunately had to wait their turn to make it in the major leagues. But I don't understand why the NHL wasn't really trying to use him maybe as a second or third, uh, uh, like a second backup or emergency goalie. I think he would have done well in the NHL. Uh, don't know what happened with the first expansion in 68, why they never called on him, but who knows in minor hockey at the time. Some of the players would make more money in the minor leagues who were making an NHL contract. So, thanks for listening. That's a legend of Russ Gillow. Have a good day. Bye.